13, Liz. PG-13. Hopefully my little cousin is watching, so yeah. PG-13. All right. The stream has started. I'm going to go ahead and move this camera way down here. Hey. And then I am going to... Liz, did you put it on Facebook? I didn't. It didn't feel like a good day to be advertising. Um, yeah, I didn't put anything anywhere, and then I remembered that I didn't put anything anywhere, so I was like, well... Oh. Oh, well. Yeah, with, with Blackout Tuesday, it didn't feel right, but I texted, like, everyone I know who normally watches, so. Oh, you know what? I don't have any way of looking at chat, either. Hold on. I've got chat pulled up. I have chat pulled up, pulled up as well. Okay, if y'all can just keep an eye on chat, that will be most helpful. Yep. Oh, we're live. Look at that. Are there people? I can't tell if there are people. How do we tell when there's people watching? The Twitch interface should tell you. I'm ancient and I don't know how technology works. The, I mean, is that... I see there's numbers. I don't know what the numbers mean. Which which numbers do you see? I think do any, anybody is watching it right now, y'all. Do Go any ahead. of them look like eyeballs? Under the radar. Oh, six. We got six people. Hi, six people. Who are us? I don't know where to see that. So hi, six people. Hello, six people, and welcome to Dungeons and Doodles. I've changed my setup a little bit this time so that my drawing will actually be visible. It's gorgeous. Well, you know what? I didn't check. Oh my gosh. I didn't check to make sure that my audio is coming through my good microphone and not my terrible one. There's two Joshes. It's crazy. Okay, audio is coming through my good microphone. Then. Good. I'd hate to miss any of your awesome puns, Josh. Oh, I'm so glad you said that, because now I feel encouraged. Good. That's en what I'm here for. Encouraged Everybody to make... Everybody needs to bring their pun A game, so... Okay. I could actually run a laptop and also have chat. So since we're kind of just hanging out and getting things set up right now, I'm going to go ahead and grab that myself real quick okay i mean i guess uh, okay i'm here alone now um neat i'm still in the room i'm I don't sorry know that. i'm sorry i had to get chocolate oh that's very important actually yeah i'd like i'd like to take this moment to tell everyone the tools you're going to need a uh, pencil paper chocolate wait um, i need to have chocolate yeah you, you can't oh Josh is ready. Yeah, you can't be a good artist without chocolate. Um, no. Just... Today's Dungeons and Doodles. Yeah. Uh, I'm ready to go, you guys. Hold on. I have chocolate. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to distract people. Good. I'm still trying to like think of what I'm going to be doing. I'm really prepared for this. Well, I'm very excited because we're gonna do pirate cat. I think Bree suggested it. Mm -hmm. Was it Bree? Yeah. It was, yeah, it was Bree. Um, yeah, we're gonna draw pirate cat. Oh my god, I love this. I'm so excited. <laughs> I hope it's gonna live up to your expectations because I'm just gonna doodle. I mean. Um, the the it's called Dungeons and Doodles. It sounds like it's gonna live up to my expectations. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I don't have as like concrete a plan as last time. Since last time, we drew Felix. Felix, sorry if I get away from this mic, you can't hear anything. Felix, our um 
mascot of QPR. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've drawn him for a hot minute, so I know how to do that. Pirate cats, I don't draw like a whole lot. It's been a while since art school and we did our pirate cat studies. Um, so we're going to kind of just draw some cartoony cats. Um, I think that's us, fair. Yeah. Um, all of us here have been like binging Animal Crossing. Uh, Lolly has been with me since the very beginning. So I'm just going to kind of go with her right now. As a pirate, of course. Okay. Yes, of course. Absolutely. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't know what pushed Lolly into being a pirate, but it was her life. Um. So the standard kind of look of standard kind of look of Animal Crossing characters. They got this big old head. And just like a little or cat. You got big old head, cylinder, um, and then just sticks with nubs. So we're just going to kind of start drawing that. Yeah. Oh, I don't know where to look when I'm drawing right now. I'm trying to a little oval for her face. She might be a little bit more round, but here I am. I've already committed. Oh, it's really squashed, and I uneven on one side, like a brick fell on her. Living her best life. Um, she has traditional like triangles for ears. I am noticing that our video is like teeny tiny on Twitch itself. It is. So I'm gonna try and fix that real quick. Okay. Should I just leave our little um, circle triangle? <laughs> I'm going to add a triangle real fast. That's fair. I will also add a second triangle. My, my cat has a squashed face, but maybe it's because it lives a very um, interesting pirate history. As a hopefully, hopefully that's a little bit better for everybody. Oh, that's a lot better, actually. Oh yeah. OK. I really hope you can actually see this. I'm I'm drawing a lot harder than I normally do. Whenever you're drawing or sketching, try to keep like very soft lines. Unfortunately, you can't see my soft lines. Um, if you start hard, you're actually like digging into the paper, and you won't be able to erase the lines later. Have some special, like carved in lines between your beautiful artwork. So I'm drawing really darkly so you can see it. You guys should start lightly okay i'm talking to people at home josh and sharon also please try to draw darker okay and and basically your mistakes immediately <laughs> in real time um so you said because i'm sorry i was running around grabbing things you said mm -hmm. cylinders right yeah so her her, her body is like kind of a well, kind of a cylinder. I'm staring at her. I'm trying to describe how this cartoon cat looks. She has kind of a cylindrical body. Okay. Um, you can draw the body of your cat however you feel. If it's like a fluffier cat, um, you know, do like the do like fluffy. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure you can see it. It's got like fluffy. That kind of looks like the side of a tree. Um, Lolly has kind of more of a cylinder going on. Okay. All right. So, I think she kind. Of, I think it kind of flares out a little bit, um, but mostly a cylinder because she's like a like a little pear, little pear butt. All right. That is a body type. Um, pear shaped is a body type. It's also how my life is going right now. <laughs> um, Let's see if we can shift this a little better. No, it's too much sliding. Bit of a pear shape. All right. Let's be like good news, guys. I don't have an eraser. You still get to see all of my mistakes forever. <laughs> Never undo anything. You ever try to just control Z life? I know I don't, but 
I can't say that's a universal truth. Uh, she kind of got like a flared out cylinder. Um, got a little leg. Got a little humanoid cat kind of going. Um, her legs are kind of just, again, little cylinders, little, little nubs at the bottom. I'm not really sure how they carry things in Animal Crossing. I'm worried about that. They don't they, have. They just like. Right. Maybe maybe there's just dark matter inside their hands that they can just activate the gravitational pull of at will. That's what we're going with. There is dark matter in Animal Crossing, which makes sense with just how crazy their whole economy kind of works. Yep, yep, yep. Making a very long lolly, but it's okay. It's happy accident. I'm realizing that I started with a nice, a nice uh, oval, but then I started making the limbs, and I was like, "Oh, I need to be drawing this like five times as large. Like, I'm not going to use anywhere near enough of my paper if I'm drawing this like teeny tiny cat yeah. kind of in the corner, you know." I also have that problem where I'm just like, I must draw this like intricate, tiny little details. Like, no, I have eight and a half inches to draw on. And yeah. I take advantage of all of it. I just need to like be more be more liberal with uh, my application of pencil. So big. Yes. <laughs> Behold That's a chunky boy. <laughs> the mega cat. Yeah. Is that his face or body? Or? That's that's gonna be the body. Okay, okay. And then I'm and then I'm working on the neck right now ish, and I'm gonna have it be a big old a big old circle for the head. And you know what? That's that's not round enough for me. And then I'm gonna have the ears kind of run off frame, you know, like ears sometimes do. <laughs> Liz, your face is good. Cause they're just they're just too big to fit on uh you know on this paper because my cat is gigantic yeah 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 yep. okay yeah it's a beautiful right. job with my little animal crossing <laughs> what do i do next <laughs> i'm too focused on josh's <laughs> clifford the cat <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm laughing so hard my camera's jiggling. Um, jiggling. So, so um, constructive criticism. Go on. Uh, cats, cats <laughs> necks um, aren't normally <laughs> dicks. Um, well, I was uh, gonna. I was gonna. F you i was trying to do more like we did with the dragon oh okay, okay. where like, like this is bones. this is just a like general frame okay, okay. and then i'm going to expand out from that with my detail okay neat um so is he is he kind of like with the curriculum and go with liz's instruction i mean i'm i'm happy to do that no we're going with it is he going to be in kind of a sitting position is he like 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 a sphinx kind of deal. Um, I didn't know exactly where I was going to go with that, but that works great. Mm -hmm. Um, so you will. I'm imagining he's like sitting, and like turned at us. Yes, yeah, so we'll have like we'll have like a paw here, a paw mm -hmm. here, and then the other two paws will be like here mm -hmm. and here. So you're gonna want to draw like a circle. In the back, we have that kind of your cat body. Okay, okay. Um, on the um, neck, that's where the head is. Big old circle. Yep. Okay. Um, so you're gonna want to draw a circle at the at the back, and that's kind of what his little thighs are gonna be. Very Got similar it. to our chunky dragons. Right, and the thigh is going to run into the rump. And mm -hmm. so I kind of want to draw it like off the back end of this oval. 
Yeah, kind of. So it'll be kind of like, kind of like yonder. Um, and then I draw the spokes of the wheel in here. Yes. Because um, it's a rotary robot Instead of a peg cat. leg, he has a wheel. Yes. Yes. Okay. Got it. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so that, yeah, that's going to be like your thigh. And actually, I drew, yeah, I drew mine. This is mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. thigh area. It kind of goes into his little foot. He's just going to stick out there. That's real good. Yeah, Liz. That's what a cat looks like. Um, chunky baby body. So it's kind of like bringing it, bringing it kind of out and swoosh down. Yeah. And then you got your feet sitting there. Um, I would like the chat to tell us how Josh's cat is going to turn into a pirate. Um, showing a peg leg here is going to be a little difficult. Not all pirates have peg legs. Every single all of them. No. I just realized if I rotate my Zoom video on the computer, um, my cat doesn't have to be upside down all the time. So You're great with to, technology, Josh. I'm going to try to do that real quick. Okay. Because I'm, I'm great with technology. So I'm going to go back to Sharon, who is great at following the curriculum. Um, yeah, so we got, we got little arms going. And I kind of like how yours are, you know, in a fun way. Um, I'm boring. I, want it, I, I won't lie. I want him to have a sword. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is Definitely. ideal. What yes. kind of sword are you feeling for your I'm pirate? I'm feeling a, like a cup hilt. I feel like will work nicely for this. Mm -hmm. sort of maybe like a, a, a savory sort of situation. Maybe a little bit of a curve. Mm -hmm. I feel that. Um, all right, I'm going to draw her little hand. Oh, God. Yep, her little deformed second hand is gorgeous. Um, before we go super too much further on how we're doing piratey, I'm going to go to facial features. Um, <laughs> hey, my drawing looks right side up now. I'm a master. It's beautiful and gorgeous and... I'm validating you, Josh, as a human being. <laughs> I appreciate your validation. Validation. Okay. Um, facial features. So in Animal Crossing, Lolly's got these like eyes that look like sixes, which freak me out a little bit, but we're going to draw them. I went a little bit shopping on Animal Crossing eyes. Mm-hmm. And I was trying to find some some good ones that I like, and uh, in an attempt to to figure out what I want my my pirate cat to look like, mm -hmm. I think probably I'm gonna end up having an entire pirate crew of cats because I won't be able to take just one. That's fair. Ooh. So this seems like a good plan. I like these little cat eyes that are like big and cute. Mm hmm Very much that and they've got their little like little sparkle. So I might I might do like little glowy cat eyes, but then like they're the ones that are shaped like eggs with a line through them that are just like the little sleepy eyes. I identify with those eyes. Feel yeah, it. Yeah, little little sleepy eyes. Um, oh yeah, look at that. And then, and then like angry eyes, I like too. I might, I might go with angry eyes for this one. No. I think so. I think if he's brandishing a, sh a ooh, if he is brandishing a sword, he might be a little angry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My cat is apparently a very happy. happy. Maybe he's a happy cat, and he's like, I got a sword! Yay! He went to Nook's cranny and bought himself a. a Saber, yeah. you know, like you do. Well, that's that sounds legitimate. I'm, I'm pretty sure, sure. I'm pretty sure Nook's cranny sells sabers, right? Oh, probably. Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten to buy one yet, but probably. 
But it seems like it seems like it'd be the sort of thing that Nook's Cranny would stock. They are kind of just supplier of all things. Mm-hmm. Um, I forgot where I was again. Eyeballs. Windows to the soul, if you will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, go on. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> um, yeah, so my windows to the soul are black holes that kind of look like sixes. Just gonna kind of go with that. Um, somehow she doesn't have a nose. Not sure how she breathes, but you know, it's fine. Big old mouth breather. I've uh, I've made a decision. Yeah. I, I started drawing two sets of eyes, and I was like, no, we gotta pirate this up more. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of one of these one of these eyes. Okay. Can we back up? So you started drawing two sets of eyes? No, I, I started doing a Picasso thing. I Fine. started I started drawing four eyes uh, because it was going to be a nerd pirate cat, um, and then I opted. I realized that if I was going to be pi truly piratical, I probably should at least do a eye patch. Which so is he going to have like a binocular and an eye patch? Is that? Um, Glass, uh, m monocle, a monocle and an eye yep. patch. Yes, monocle. Abs yep, absolutely. That's what I totally said. You can't <laughs> prove otherwise. Yeah. No, that's what I heard. Is did you did you say something else? I don't. I don't. Nope. I didn't nope. hear you say anything else. Let's. All right. Cool. Uh, mm. welcome, Rat Furry. I'm glad you could join us. Right, so uh, yeah. right. I'm going to draw her little mouth. Um, she's got this little, like, smirk going on that I find highly suspicious. Just no one walks around. It's going to have a nose. I think that. it's going to be the little, the, a little triangle, though. Like, just a little. Yeah, I, I, I always, I always imagine cats with that little, like, triangle nose. The yeah. fact that when I looked up Lolly and she didn't have a nose, I had to go back to my game and be like, are you okay, ma'am? <laughs> have you always not had a nose? I've known her for 30 days now. She's never noticed she didn't have a nose. Um, love in the eye patch. Thank you, thank you. It's really contouring to the face. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was trying to draw out the other side because you know, like, there's a little bit of eye, like, visible around mm -hmm. the eye patch. Like, trying to draw that, and I realized that I'd gone like way too high with it, and so I was like, "Oh, this eye was janky before an eye patch went over it." Like, oof. <laughs> That's fair. Um, so when you're standardly drawing a face, which I guess I didn't go over because I'm kind of like, and then we'll just draw a happy little tree. Um. Standardly drawing a face, which is very different from drawing a cartoon face. Because cartoon faces kind of follow whatever rules that you decide to give to the style. Whatever um, whatever rules the universe sets for them. Yeah. Um, so standard face, you got you got a little, little circle. Um, you bisect with a bit of a curved line. Um, so that would, you know, give the... Symmetry of the face, it's going straight down, what would be the nose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, the and then I think it's like about what would be like halfway like the, the halfway point in the circle. Mm -hmm. Um you take that measurement okay. and put it down here, and that's where the chin would be. This is a human face, not a cat face. What? Um that's about where the chin would be. Mm -hmm. um, the eyes are actually like slightly lower than that. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, right, about, right about here. So good at drawing. Um, but if you set up your skull kind of like with these bisecting lines, it'll help you kind of line up your eyeballs a little bit better instead of just being like 
<laughs> All right, that looks like they kind of line up. Yep, did, totally. Did anybody uh, watch the Madness Combat videos? Like the on Newgrounds back in the day? Because that's exactly what that's reminding me of, and I'm wondering if that's why they look like that in those videos. The what now? There's a series on uh, Newgrounds called Madness Combat. And the little, like, figure of a head that Liz just drew, it looks exactly like the characters that were in that animation series. And I'm starting to wonder if, like, that's exactly why they look like that, is because it's, like, a default human head. Could be. Probably. Um, I was busy watching probably, like, Charlie the Unicorn and um, badger, badger, mushroom, mushroom when this was happening. I mean, fair. <laughs> it's really good. Okay. Um, so, you, so you drew a lovely round head. Cats are kind of more of, um, they're a little, like, pointier towards the chin, right? So, like, a human head is kind of round... Cat heads are sort of more, almost like teardrop, right? Or am I, or am I completely off my rocker here? Oh, so yeah, um, cat heads are probably a little bit more pear shaped or teardropped. Okay. Um, and I, I don't actually think they're pointier near the chin. They're kind of, I feel like they're like fluffier down here, and then kind of point up here. Okay. Um, and maybe the pointy part you're thinking of. Is there snoot? Yes. I am, in fact, thinking of the snoot. Like, here's going on here. I'm just drawing the goblin is what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I put my mic in a position where anytime I'm looking at what you're drawing and talking at the same time, it's like I'm in another room. I imagine I'm still audible, but it's not ideal. So I'm going to just yeah, shift this Right over. now you're incredibly audible. Before it was like, okay, yeah, I can hear him, but I have my computer audio low. All right, there. Now my microphone is somewhere where regardless of whether I'm talking into the screen where I'm watching what you're doing or if I'm talking into uh, my own drawing, I can be I can be well audible either way. Yay! I'm so proud of you, Josh. Thank you. We're learning so many things today. I try so hard. All of us together. I try so hard. All right, so I'm realizing that this this noodly this noodly limb down here, it I stopped it a little short. It's probably supposed to go right up, kind of into the thigh, since it's sitting, right? Yeah, his his foot would probably hit about his like middle of tum tum level. Which is a scientific measurement from some mm -hmm. yes. area. Yes, I've heard of this term before. <laughs> I'm trying to decide what sort of pirate accessory to give my cat. That's fair. Well, I think you should focus on the saber. I think that's where we're at first. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I'm not really sure how he holds a saber except for that dark matter we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. So the saber kind of just goes next to or in front of his nubbin. Well, you kind of you do it almost like um, like clipping problems, right? Where it just sort of merges into yeah the hand because they're holding it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me get this more. Tum tum middle. I feel like your thigh can be a little bit bigger, so his noodly foot isn't quite so noodly. Ah, that that would explain why it appears mm -hmm. quite so noodly. All right, let me it bring. It is kind of their legs kind of all squish in together when they are sitting. And yes. I don't know if you can see on my little thing here. It's and then you just kind of just see his little foot sticking out. I see. My sword is essentially 
a fat banana and a skinny banana poking out of the fat banana. Mm -hmm. That okay. is how I drew my sword. I like that. I like the fat banana. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you going to give it any sort of like like sparkle or, or shine to it? I'd like yeah, a, I tried like to a give it a little bit of a, a little shiny thing here. A little, a little shiny thing. But I haven't done anything to the blade. I'm, I'm not sure what would be best there. This is a cartoon. I really want it to be having the like, yep. like happy reaction from Animal Crossing. I think it's happy. Just the one where the, there's yellow like, like sparks the shooting around. Yeah. Or you could give it the joy reaction. I think Both you're. Flowers. Yes. <laughs> All right. It's beautiful. Right. That looks straight out of Animal Crossing. I truly believe that if Lolly pulled a sword on me, that's the reaction it would be having. That's the look that it would have. Mm -hmm. Anybody has any recommendations on pirate accessories? Like, in the chat? Let me know, because right now it's just a naked pirate cat. <laughs> so. I think it needs ruffles. No clothes. I'm going to put, like, some... I already hate myself for putting ruffles. I hate it. I haven't even started, but I already said ruffles. Oh, um, like neck ruffles? Yeah. All right. So I was trying to figure out where I went wrong with this foot, and then I looked closer at the foot you made, and I realized that, like, you did not make a super pointy foot like I initially thought you had. You, in fact... Like you, it's round. It's round at the end. Like you know, yeah. like cat feet. Yeah, cat little. Oh no, Josh ran away. The cats have little like oh. round. They're round. I'm just gonna keep doing this. I really hope around. someone joins in while I'm doing this. Round. Round. Um, I feel like maybe your cat body is very long. It's long cat. Hey, long boy. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. You could probably shorten him a little bit, and then he won't be so noodly. Well, Unless you feel like we got like a cat dog situation going on. I was I was gonna say I don't, I don't mind if he's tremendously long because I've seen I've seen long cats. Long cats mm -hmm. are long. Mm -hmm. Um, but I do want to make sure that I'm not like totally goofing on uh, totally goofing on these legs. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to I'm trying to take a close look at what you've got. And sort of go from there. Because I imagine I'll have to make mine a little bit longer than yours, just on account of having made yeah. such a long boy. Um, but if I start like up here, and then I go swoosh, and then I go sort of like this. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see cat anatomy since most of it's fluff. My cat Fluffy. is 90% fluff. Um... Can we see a source, please? Oh, yeah. Floof, floof cat. Wait, is, is Liz then, tracking down and retrieving her cat for us? Is that what's happening? Yes. This is magical. I'm so excited. So this is my cat. <gasps> Put her closer. So fluff. Present. Present. <laughs> I can't hear anything you're saying. Rosalind, the uh, fluff is blocking the microphone, but... <laughs> Rosalind! Oh my goodness. Oh, she's majestic. <laughs> oh. And how patient... No. Oh. Oh. She looked mad though. <laughs> mm. All right. 
So I've, I've kind of adopted this like sort of pork chop looking thing from my, for for the tootsies. For the tootsies here for the for the kitty cat. I don't know if that I don't know if that looks good or not. I'm having trouble even telling at this point. So far gone. So this is a cat. Uh oh. Please draw this cat. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. This is like it's a live modeling situation. I love it. I've completely abandoned drawing to play with my cat. I mean, who could blame you, though? She's doing a very good job. She's right there. <laughs> okay. I, I, sorry, I dropped off video again. I needed to check and make sure, because the reason I dropped off before was my phone was like, hey, you've got 20% battery left. And I'm like, uh, how quick are you burning through this battery exactly there, phone? Do I need to go get something for you? But it says it's still at 20, so I think I'm okay. Your phone's weird. Didn't but, last time it was like at 100%, and then it was like, not nah, 5 well, part of the problem before was that I had it in the light fixture, and heat plus batteries equals bad. Yes. So, I think that was a lot of that. So here we're getting an aerial view of a cat. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. You can see the ears are fairly pointed, but they are kind of rounded here. They're, they're kind of round on the edges yeah. there. Can I get another shot of that snoop, please? <laughs> Roger. <laughs> oh, she hates me. Oh, she's so mean. Why are you gonna make her so mean? I'm drawing this pirate cat, and I've decided to draw a pirate coat on this pirate cat. Oh, I, I love, love it. this pirate coat. I love the like flare you have going. Thank mm -hmm. you. I, I, I wanted it to, to move. I wanted it to be a go motion. <laughs> uh, also, I realized that now my cat is not wearing any pants, and it looks odd, like, I mean, looks like a cat flasher. To I mean, be fair, Lolly isn't either. I was going to say, your cat could be straight Donald Duck in it. That's okay. Yeah. A lot of cartoons don't wear pants, which... Yeah. To be fair, they're animals. My cat is also not wearing pants. Mm -hmm. I will I will point out, um, Mickey Mouse only wears pants and gloves and shoes. Mm -hmm. No shirts. No shirts I, for Mickey Mouse. I think I heard a theory that Donald and Mickey um, just bought one outfit together and split it. <laughs> mm-hmm. That does make sense. Um, able, mm -hmm. able sisters can be pretty expensive, so I can understand why that might be the case. I give them all my money. I give them all my money. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe in the Kingdom Hearts verse, it's Muns. I guess we give the Mabel or the Able sister. Yep, I'm done. The <laughs> Able sisters. All of our bells. Yes, exactly. That's our form of currency. That is the currency we operate with. Also, if anyone watching this um, has high turnip prices today, hit me up. <laughs> get, get, get me with that dodo code, though. Mine are 181 this evening, and I'm not sure if I should invest in that or not. I mean, that's pretty respectable. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't know if you play with a turnip calculator or not. <laughs> I used to be of the philosophy that turnip calculators are a nonsense item. That like, oh well, who who's going to invest that much time? But what I found out is that. Um, it actually is makes your life easier because you have a general idea of whether you should be like out in your friend group being like, hey, so uh, 
Who's who's gonna have those good prices for me though this week? Cause uh, cause your boy could use some good turnip prices. I'll tell you what. Um, is that can, is that how you talk to your friend group? Yes. Okay. Your boy your boy needs them turnip prices. It's precisely how I talk. You should know. You've hung out with me. Hung out you're, is like a strong you're, word. You're in the friend group. You're using really strong words. <laughs> I don't think they're that strong. I don't think I'm going to be able to successfully draw a pirate hat on this pirate cat. Did you add a little earring to your cat? It did. I, I did. love it. Oh, that's such a good idea. Solid. That is that I is will, out of the box. I will see if I can do something similar. I hope people are enjoying the live feed at the top of my cat's head. Mm-hmm. It's more Rosalind than I've seen in like three months. It's okay. Right in. Oh, eyeball. Hey, you. This is very good. Well, this is a this is a gravity defying earring right now for some reason. Hold on. See if I can really fix got a that. Tiger King thing kind of going. Yeah. Maybe I should put stripes on this cat. Yes. Have it be have it be a little more tabby like. Have it be a little more of a Tiger King. I feel right, that. So I think I know what mistake I made when I was doing that earring, and I think the mistake I made was I started at the bottom. And worked my way up, and I should probably start at the top and work my way down, because then gravity will naturally help me a little bit. <laughs> the gravitational theory of earrings. I like yeah. It. So, Josh, I, um, yes. the thing you are doing wrong is an earring, um, it doesn't sit on an ear, it goes through the ear. So, um, you're going to want to set it a little bit. The end of it is going to want to set a little bit into the ear. Okay. And you won't see where the hoop connects. There will be this, a this small makes amount sense. of ear. This makes sense. Mm -hmm. As someone uh, who does not have any earrings, um, sometimes physics, they defy me a little bit. Uh, I also, if, the, if anyone couldn't tell, am a little bit out of it today. But that's okay. We all kind of are. This has been a stream of consciousness stream. Mm -hmm. Hope y'all are enjoying it. A stream of consciousness. Yep. I'm also sad Brandon hasn't joined us yet. Do we have ears on, eyes on? He, he did send me a message a little bit ago and said that he was struggling to get anything to work. I feel that. Um, I understand. He, uh, he tried to find a range extender on the way home. Oh, and right. His router is... Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, he could not find a range extender. But at the point that he gave up on his search, he was already a little bit late. And then he gets home and nothing was connecting to anything. So oh. he's just he's just completely out of pocket. And that's that's okay. That's fair. I understand. It's a weird time for everyone right now. Um, I'm going to draw a fancy shirt on my back. Do a fancy shirt. What did you say, Liz? I'm drawing a fancy shirt on my cat. Just ah. everything is going to be frilly. Let's see if I can get some like. Shirt like that in high school. <laughs> what? Your sister had a shirt like that in high school. First of all, my sister is the coolest person I know. Aww. I don't know a lot of people, though. <laughs> I think I want to drop the cat now. So I don't know if this is the captain or the first mate or mm -hmm. our watch buckler, but I think I'm going to draw a fluffy cat now. I would love to see a fluffy cat. Um, Please. Same, same, same model though. I'm gonna go 
I'm gonna go Animal Crossing style. Do, do the same thing, I think. Yeah, I don't think we, we need a crossover episode here. No, no, I'm a, I'm afraid to go into into Josh's territory. I'm gonna let that be his thing. With the with the like the little the long cat. Long Hash, cat. Hashtag long cat. That's going to be trending by the end of this podcast. (laughs) Well, you know what? I can't get this. I don't know what, Josh. I can't can't get this leg the way I want it. I, I, I stopped... I stopped drawing it for a minute because I was like, I'm going to come back to this because there's something there's something wrong with it and I don't know what it is. And then I realized I had stopped the top of it so low that it looked like the leg had been attached to my cat, almost like a wood block being inserted into a, a like wood cat. Yeah, sometimes when my cat is sitting, her little, her little um, thigh haunches go above her bum. Um, if that is more the way that your cat is sitting, um, mm. usually it's about, it looks about even, I think. I don't, I promise I don't just stare at my cat all day. Don't I think mean, that that's what I'm saying. She's very cute. I wouldn't blame you if you did. So you're thinking maybe part of the issue is that the, the haunch needs to go like even to, or even just above. Yeah, I think so. I think just because you have like such a long cat, you need to you need just, just make everything a little bit yeah bigger. I think get a, get a little extra with it. <laughs> I I definitely tend to err on the side of like trying to make things too small. Yeah. Anytime I draw anything. So as we saw when I started, like right at the you, beginning, you have gone. A full 180 on where you started, but... Um... Yes. Which I know is precisely what you wanted me to do, so I am glad mm. that I could I could give you that. You know what? Art is about taking risks. <laughs> um, I also think you want to start working on the front leg. Because yeah. Because you might find that that's going to fill a little bit. Because there is room for his little tummy. His tummy does exist. Ooh, you got a good point there. Um, how would, so how would, how would you front like a cat? Cause it's going to be different from the dragon I did. Cause the dragon almost had like people arms. Yeah. Roslyn, come back. <laughs> I need to see you sitting. Um, I'm going to pull myself up a little model. Well, I know usually, um, and I'll, I'll stand up for my demonstration. I know usually when cats are like sitting kind of loaf style, they mm-hmm. tend to like tuck their paws under them yeah. so that like you won't really see their elbow. You'll just sort of see their shoulder. Then the arm sort of like disappears under them and then it pokes out the front with their, with the feet. Yeah. Scala, do you want to, do you want to show me what sitting looks like? Do you want to? You want to help me out with this? Yeah, I don't think their their shoulders aren't quite as round as their... Oh! <laughs> Look at that good baby. <laughs> you can probably tell a lot more about a cat's anatomy from that kind of cat, because mine is just 80% fluff. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? What okay, we're seeing a lot of your cat. <laughs> cat. Cat is doing a lot of, like, gymnastic moves. I think... <laughs> I think it was determined that sitting, that uh, holding time was over. Yeah, yeah, that that's what I, I was, got. I was being inappropriate and in trying to extend holding time. Mm-hmm. So we'll just, we'll just not hold Scala right now. Well, you have to let me scoot my chair back in. I mean, you uh, can head about the table too, but you have to let me scoot my chair back in. Hold on. Let be. Little bean, little bean. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yep, that's your cat. <laughs> yep. Here we go. Uh, very good. This is what we meant by pirate cats, right? Yes. Okay. It's actually, you have a cat on your shoulder instead of a parrot. 
Yes. Okay. You I'm know, really I think Sharon's the only one that's like keeping on track. <laughs> the only one accomplishing anything. Basically, Josh <laughs> and I are the rogue and the bard. <laughs> draw a lot of pirate <laughs> so if i draw if i draw like kind of a kind of a shouldery like round yeah so i kind of drew like a like a rounded off kind of a rounded off triangle here and then a little nub um because their shoulders are much pointier than their thighs yeah um, but then but their think... elbows kind of go into their squish. I think I'm going too small Very again. technical terms. I hope yes. you're following. Yes, I am. Uh, the nubs go into the squish. Yes. Yes. No, the, the elbows go into the squish and the <laughs> nubs are just outside of the triangle. Ah, uh, of course. Yes, got it. Okay. No, you can't have that. That's chocolate. That's not for you. No, no you that's can't. for the artist. We established this when we started. We did. I guess she must have been in another room, not listening. Hmm, that's fair. Um, okay, so you did kind of a triangle. Okay, I think I see. I think I see what you're doing. So I will change this because it's already wrong. I'll start again. That's like I think that's me with Dungeons and Doodles. It's just going to be like so. Josh is starting again because he was doing it wrong. Um, he'll be, be he'll be fair, back with Sharon us. And I have drawn been drawing for a hot minute. <laughs> um, Josh hasn't. This is true. I am. Um, when we when we were initially discussing doing this, I was like, "Well, I'm going to be the worst artist because I don't draw. I draw like never." Well, I'm a terrible dungeon master because I have no charisma. Well, how are how are you going to be the bard then? I'm the rogue. Oh, you're the rogue. Okay, I thought I would be the rogue. I'm sorry, Solonar, no. No, 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 I need you to be the bard for me here. Um, how does how does that go exactly? Is it kind of like, do, do, do you sing songs like not jaunty little tunes, or is yes, it... Yes, we're pirates. Okay, so... Oh, so like sea shanties. Yeah! Uh, trying to think... What a good uh, PG-13 sea shanty is. Um, I mean, there's the... There's, I'm, I played a lot of Assassin's Creed Black Flag, and that's about what I know about sea shanties, but that was a while ago, so I don't actually have a good recollection of any of that. Um, yeah, so it's... I'm, I'm, I'm just going to leave it and go back to my heart. That, that'll be best. <coughs> Uh, okay, so I'm going to draw this other cat, right, you guys? Yes. Uh -huh. What I'm doing? I definitely gave it an attitude, but now I don't know how to reflect the attitude and what it's actually doing. That is a very, that's like a Persian you got going on. I like the little fluff. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling more Maine Coon. Mm -hmm. little, little Maine Coon inspired. Little cranky. Um... But I don't know. Like I tried to draw a little hat on him, a little pirate pirate hat, but I can't figure out how to make the hat work with the ears without making it tiny and like fit right in the middle, which looks stupid. Can it be um like a tricorn hat? I'm gonna kind of butcher the heck out of this. So it kind of comes up between the ears. Um And you can do like a little, a little feather situation. Oh, like back, uh, like back behind the ears. Yeah. So like this little point might be coming here, maybe. Yeah, yeah. That that works better than what I was trying to do, which was I don't really know, honestly. I've never seen a feather in my life. All right. Uh, and that would probably look better if I did shading on it. Because right now it's just like a little triangle and Sharon's looks better than mine. But she got the point and that's 
what is important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I. Okay, feather, hat, good. Mm -hmm. I kept I like making it work with the ears, and it just wasn't happening. So thank you. I am looking at images of cats laying down because mm -hmm. I, I just couldn't <laughs> take it anymore. That's fair. Um, and I needed I needed some kind of reference to work off of, and Scala is way too keyed up to be lying down right now. Um, so I looked, and there is no shoulder definition. Mm. <laughs> it is like it's like straight into the body because it's yeah. all floof at that point. Yeah. Yep. Again, problem with cats. They are they're fluffy and they're squishy and everything. They're liquid. They're a fluffy liquid. Mm -hmm. Um. You can generally only see their shoulders when they're like angry. Um, yeah, like if, if if they're like yeah trying to trying to poof themselves up to look really intimidating. Yeah, um, I would still like draw kind of the triangle just to figure out where everything would land. Because um, if later on you're looking to put stripes or fur or something, mm -hmm. um, your fur isn't really going to go completely like that direction. Um, it might go like down a little bit around here and then straight back here. Okay. Or the stripes might be interrupted in this general area. That makes um, sense. I yeah. get you. Um, it might end up just completely going away, but like you were talking about last time, it's very important to figure out what the thing looked like looks like under the clothes or under the scale or under the scales or under whatever before you start putting stuff on there. In this um, case, under the fur and the squish. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm loving Grouchy Cat down there. Um, is he getting a little fluffy collar feel? Yeah, he's got a little he's gonna have a little shirt that's very long and it's gonna have a belt. I like the belt. Hmm. What would Grumpy Cat be doing? Because if it was me, I'd have just like a tankard. Ooh. <laughs> that definitely feels right for this for this one. I identify with this cat. <laughs> Josh is drawing a vampire cat. Yes. Which I love. Yes. My phone is getting all of the notifications. Every notification forever. Yeah. What was I going to say? Sharon, I would personally love if Fluffy Cat had like one little fang, just like like with a fang going out, like a, yes. like a fang. Yeah. I love it. Yes, two little fangs. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh! Fangs. Yes. So angry. It's magnificent. Uh, I figure out if he should be holding the tankard like in front of him because he doesn't have an elbow, or if he's just gonna yeah. out, out like like this. Tankards. Like you could just have two of them out like this, like a weird little. I don't know. Like I feel like he'd be holding it casually. Yeah, I, I want him to be holding it casually, but since he doesn't have elbows, you know, he can't just. Yeah. Get, here's the tankard. Yeah, I feel like he kind of would just be in standing pose with the, the tankard. You can't see what I'm doing with my hands. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of feel like he would just have it, like, just like how, how Animal Crossing people just stand with their arms just slightly out um, and just holding it. Maybe it's dripping a little bit. 
So what we're doing is adding character to our cats right now. We don't just like generic cat. Um, everything, just like how you carry yourself in daily life, these cats have very specific characteristics of how they would do things. This cat is ex or this cat is grumpy. He's not extra. Mm -hmm. um, and now writing backstory for for a cat. I feel like his his home is just very well built but minimal. And by home, I I obviously mean his like little sleeping bunk in the ship. I am not a pirate. I did not do enough research. Wait, you're not a pirate? Well, that's too tall. Sorry to have misled you, Josh. I don't know, but, folks. I don't know about this beer tankard, y'all. But the, the first time we met, you were like, you've forgotten just one thing. I'm a pirate. And then you walked right off the edge of that building and sailed away on a huge pirate ship. So it, you can see why I would be confused. Are you okay, Josh? Yeah, I'm great. Well, why do you ask? No reason. Just, um, that might have been a dream. That might have not been reality. You think that was a con weekend field hallucination? I think so. I think mm. after, like, three days of not sleeping and not showering, you might have... Oh, we have a request in chat for a succinct recap of how to start our cat off. A recat, if you will. A recat. All right. How to start your cat? We're doing sort of Animal Crossing style cat. First. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we're we're kind of we're kind of talking about like how to do kind of cartoony things, um, because although I would totally put my cat in a pirate outfit. Um, we're, we're not doing that today. I don't want that recorded. I don't want people to be able to share that when I finally run for office. What? Um, uh, so again, we're drawing kind of Animal Crossing style. Um, and Lolly has been with me since day one. She is what I've been kind of basing things off of. Um, so we got we got our our big old big old oval for the head. The very squished oval. It's fine. You can draw your oval however you're feeling. Um, and then she again has the more pointy ears. And her body is kind of um, kind of a cylinder. It kind of flares out. We decided it's kind of like a pear. Oh, she is. She's janky. It's fine. We're, she's a beautiful cat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fixed in pose. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So she kind of flares out. A cat was the first thing that I ever drew, too. Or at least it's one of the first things that I remember drawing. I love it. Like learning how to draw, like learning some set steps. Mm -hmm. And I'll try and do that later after we do our recap. recap. Um, and then the Animal Crossing people, as you can see in Sharon's beautiful finished drawings, um, they just have kind of sticks with nubs. Um, there's no fingers in Animal Crossing, which yeah. is me. I just a little like nub. Shoulder here, little nub. Um, the arm isn't the full body. The arm goes. Uh, yeah. So whenever I try to draw, I just suddenly start putting myself in weird positions to try to remind myself how bodies exist. Um, but the the hand, the arms don't go all the way down. They're like three quarters of the length of the body. This looks like this looks like Powerpuff Cat. Powerpuff Cat. I can dig that. Oh, she's thick. 
sit on my arm, I don't think so. Um, so that's kind of our base for it. Um, again, when you're drawing, you kind of first sketch out your skeleton. Um, you don't want to spend 30 minutes drawing like the perfect eyeball and then the rest of your body looks just jankety. Um, from here, you can kind of add like how Sharon below has added kind of like snotty neck or shirts or pants or whatever. Um, make sure that you have sketched out the area that your cat is going to exist in before getting like super into details. This cat now looks like he's going to be an old man. We got old man cat right here. I don't really know what eyeballs or man cats can have. Lopsided old man cat. Mm -hmm. uh, we were also talking about characterization. Um, although you kind of start out drawing just, you know, frontal view. Blank face, arms out. Um, you can see in Sharon's, she's got a little attack cat. Um, his eyes are wide open. His mouth is yelling something while he brandishes a sword. And his coat is also interacting with that, where it's going back as though he has just stepped forward and the wind is now in his coat. Um, and then we have Grumpy Cat beside there who looks like he kind of sluggishly came up to be in this group photo. So there isn't like a whole lot of wind going on. His eyes are kind of like squinted. Um, and he's like frowny. No one look at my cat. <laughs> <laughs> I guess 821, sorry. Um, same faux fancy. I'm out of chocolate. I am going to go restock. Oh, hello. Okay. I'm trying to change my guy's view up. I kind of decided to use like a, an old cat. He's going to just pirate game for a minute. All right. This, this is entertaining, but thinking about doing details on this big cat is actually stressing me out a little bit so i'm going to do the smart thing i did earlier grab my fresh sheet of paper and then i'm going to try and i'm going to try and follow more the uh scope and scale are we you were going to follow the initially. curriculum now yes okay the trouble is, Josh, Josh received your syllabus at the beginning of the class, Liz, and he went, picked <laughs> <laughs> it up right in your face. I, that sounds about right. I won't lie to you. What happened was I was running around so much when we were like setting up and everything that um, I didn't, I, I didn't track exactly what we were doing until I had already started drawing a bunch of stuff. And then I looked over and I was like, oh, no. Well, oh, you no. You committed, Josh. We were just uh, like, okay, I guess Josh just has in his mind exactly what he's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I decided that this cat has seen some stuff. Um, 
So let's put a little punk out of here. And go boot the other ear. Yep. Big eyes. Kind of seeing some stuff with his giant eyes. I should really watch some more Bob Ross videos so I can more understand how to guide you guys through this. <laughs> that is pretty much the ideal way to guide people, isn't it? This is one of the few things I remember watching as a child because we didn't have the internet or cable. So it's Bob mm -hmm. Ross and Thomas the Tank Engine. I was raised in a village in Ohio. None of this is sarcasm. I mean, I when I was in my Bob Ross and Thomas the Tank Engine days, I was living in Stanton. So, uh, Pennsylvania? Virginia. Oh, Virginia. Yeah. Oh, I thought like, it was Staunton. Oh, no. Staunton is how it's spelled. Um, but it's one of those like you know you know you're not local when you you hear the word Staunton. Okay. It's like I, mean, uh, I grew up mostly in Lynchburg, but um, we always heard Staunton. Interesting. Well, it's kind of like it's because everyone in Lynchburg said Staunton River for the high school that I don't think is actually in Stanton. Mm. Actually, no, I don't know where Stanton River is. In comparison to Stanton. I don't know where I am right now. My cat is looking rough. Did anybody else notice on Animal Crossing the little new bird? Does everybody have a new bird for summertime? Is it on your messenger? So the birds on Messenger means that there's a new note. Oh. So if you ever see a bird, it means there's a note. I gotta and, go look at the note then. Yeah. It's there actually probably a new note on my board in very long time, many months. Probably because your nook, nook's cranny is about to um, expand. It could also oh. be. Um, the other things they'll announce are like the fishing tournament for the year or the month. Mm -hmm. um, don't they announce birthdays on there as well for your villagers? They don't, no. Oh. That's just kind of word of mouth. Got it. We've already you had can, a party. You can tell how much I pay attention to what goes on on my board. It's not turnip prices, so who cares? Exactly. No. Liz, I don't know where your microphone is, but when you're drawing, it's it's in a bad place. Yeah, it's a, it's a <laughs> unidirectional mic, so if I It's... And if I get closer, all of a sudden you can hear everything. <laughs> it's magical and terrible at the same time. Yay! Magical and terrible. I do like, like this. Like a warlock. Yeah. It's either this or you get to hear my gaming computer's fan turn on and it sounds like a jet engine. Ooh. Maybe we'll do that next time. <laughs> oh my I word. I decided this is now a chick. She's gonna have you know what? It just this cat is a fabulous cat. cat. I'm not gonna put a gender on it, but this cat now has really just fabulous eyelashes. This cat is rough, but has fabulous eyelashes. Oh, 
Oh, don't look at the rest of my desk. It's terrible. This is literally <laughs> the only clean spot in my whole room. <laughs> Now how how are you guys doing legs? Oh, you're doing kind of the the nubby legs. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so you want to pay attention to make sure you don't have too much of a thigh gap on your legs. They want to be fairly proportional with the body. Mm-hmm. Really well, I only guess... be like like an inch or so between them, unless it's like your cartoon style. Well, um, I am I am doing a peg leg on one side because. Okay. You did. You did make a request for a peg leg earlier on, we and done uh, that yet, yeah. and uh, I was not going to oblige you there because that cat was laying down, and that just that would have been, been too difficult crazy. and a little bit awkward. It would have been too crazy. But I can oblige you here. Mm-hmm. Give kind of like a. Peggy leg, and then more of a nubby leg. A Peggy and a, a Peggy and a nubby. Mm-hmm. Scientific terms, much yes. like much like we've been using all night. We have not strayed from our scientific vernacular. Exactly. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a mop. I was going to give this one a peg leg, but now I'm thinking maybe I'll give this one a hook. We don't have a hook yet. Peg leg? I don't know. He's got a parrot, too. Do cats keep parrots? This one does. Okay. It's a weird relationship. I don't know. Got kind of like a Mickey Mouse, like Pluto kind of thing going. I mean, Animal Crossing already features a fair amount of uh, animals owning animals. Like, what what makes the gerbils in your town so special that the gerbils in the cages don't have? I Is do it because have they're hamster. bigger? This, this is the Pluto Goofy debate. I'm not sure we want to get that heated right now. That's fair. I, I always worry about that when you catch a frog, though. Because they mm. make the jokes. They do. Like, I don't know about neighbor. There's, there is a comic that I saw that was all about uh, Nook, Nook not letting a tarantula be the new neighbor. Because it's a tarantula. And it's like, well, why not? He's 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 like the rest of us. He should be our new neighbor. It's fair. Ooh, apparently Jellicles can and Jellicles do keep parrots. Now I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> Uh, fun fact: I have not watched the the um, live action movie Cats because I love myself. Does that mean that you at some point watched an animated movie Cats? Don't judge my life. I'm just I'm, asking. I'm not judging. Them. This this is not a judgment thing. This is purely just me asking. I've seen Cats in. I think I've seen this show Cats. Am I lying? Do you see it when? Did you see it in high school when the other high school in Lynchburg did it? Because yeah, I think it, I did. I, we may have seen it together. Who knows? I think at that point, were we friends at that point? I'm having an existential crisis. Let's go back to how Josh is drawing his cat. Um, <laughs> well, right, right now I'm putting details on this mop. So That mop is very yours. good. For a second, I hadn't realized that it was a mop, and I was like, that's not the right end of the sword to hold. <laughs> oh, no. But it's a mop, so I feel a lot yeah, better. Yeah, this is, this is purely for swabbing the poop deck. It's good. It's very good. Cats is a completely different thing than for humans. 
There we go. The litter boxes are kept if you didn't get it. I'm hilarious. Um, well, that's... But that's not what the poop deck is for. Actually, I forget what the poop deck is even for. Uh, if somebody Outside in chat... Outside of the joke, I have no idea. If somebody in chat knows what the poop deck is for on a ship and they want to just get the rest of us in on that, Please. that'd be that'd be great. Because that's going to bother me so what much. What the poop deck is for? <laughs> I already have so many screens going, I can't look up what the poop deck is for. Uh, Fofacy says that... Her friends had been planning on doing an MST3K viewing of the live-action Cats movie. Yes. Costumes compulsory. It. Costumes always compulsory, yes. <laughs> Wait, are you, are you doing costumes of the cats or costumes of MSK2? MSK2. MSK2. Yeah, the other thing. Mystery Science Theater 3000. Which one? There you go. <laughs> now you've got it. I'm the best host. I don't think I drew a thumb. I really hope I, no one thought that, that was going to be a thumb. I'm again drawing a fancy shirt because my other cat, I abandoned my other cat with She's been thrown to the wayside. Going on. No. Yeah. Yeah, at least cat ears. You know, probably. Probably everyone on this call has cat ears somewhere, right? Probably somewhere. Don't Maybe. judge my life. I'm not judging. I'm saying probably everyone on the call does. I do. Um, like at least three different pairs. If there's not like... a pair of cat ears somewhere in that apartment, Josh, I'll be very surprised. I know. So uh, real true facts. I know that I at one point owned cat ears. But I haven't gone looking for them, and I haven't seen them in a very long time. So the possibility may very well be that I do no longer have a cat ears. But I had cat ears, so I think your statement still kind of stands. So which person in your household do you think took your cat ears? Um, so I... I <laughs> to be, it was to, to be honest, yeah. I haven't seen them for multiple moves. So okay. it's possible that the person that took them is no longer in my life, as that sometimes goes. That's fair. I just really I have a question a about story. how to draw angry slash concerned eyebrows. Oh no, my phone died. You guys can't see my stupid cat anymore. No. <laughs> I have it plugged in, but you know. Oh, it is hot. Oh, my phone's hot. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, mine is pretty toasty, also. Oh dear. Unfortunately, my hand is also frozen because I can't exit the Zoom call from my phone now. So. Well, it'll it'll come back to life at some point in hopefully the near-ish future. And it's fine. Everyone I want to talk to is here. <laughs> So for angry eyebrows, the easiest thing that I do is just two little slants. So I've got a bunch of little eyes here and none of them are angry except for this one. These ones are angry, but they're not like the eyebrows are kind of built in to the eyes. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of like a little football for each eye that's cut in half. And just like the top line goes out just a little further than the football. And, uh, you know, this one's a little cross-eyed too, just to make him look extra cranky. Um, but if you had like more normal like cat eyes, I'd probably just do just the easiest version is just two little diagonal lines pointing to the middle of your, of your eyeballs. 
if you want to add eyebrows to your already kind of mad eyes, um, whenever you furrow your brow, you can kind of see this like like round part here. So if you draw kind of a round and then more of a slant from your angry eyes, you got you got even angrier. Er, I'm really glad that you can see. Got me, got me making making weird faces at the camera now. <laughs> Um, and what Sharon did before drawing her cat is called a study. Um, a lot of, I mean, every artist does it before they do the magical last piece. If you think that Michelangelo just picked up a piece of marble and decided that David was going to get carved today, you are wrong. Um, in Florence, there's uh, an exhibit of all of the marble statues that led up to him completing David. Um, nope, I got that wrong. Did I get that wrong? Anyway, so a study is just drawing the different components of um, the different components of your final piece before you like put it all together. So you would draw like 30 different eyes being like, I don't know like what angle exactly I'm going with the eyebrows, um, what color would look best, and then comparing them together with the 30 noses you're drawing on another sheet. Um, very rarely do people sit down and be like, this is it. This is all I'm doing. Um, this is the final piece. They have practice going into it beforehand. Angry eyes. I'm just gonna make hey, faces I for you guys now. Just gonna mug at the camera. Um, also, doing references is legitimate. Like Josh looked up some cats because although we have seen cats before, staring at a cat and drawing it is different than passively seeing a cat and seeing a cat. Yeah, I had to I had to look at reference images to even understand how cat shoulders do for this. Mm -hmm. Um because looking think trying to think of like how do cat shoulders do when they lay down? If you go and look at reference images of cats laying down, you will notice that like their shoulders just like disappear. Like from from about here to about here. They're just gone. We call them their cat flaps. They get tucked up into their cat flaps. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause between the floof and the fact that they're like fairly soft bodied, like cats can just fold away. But disappear into themselves. Cats are liquid. End of story. This makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. I love your little hook. Oh, thank you. Thank you. On point. So this season. <laughs> so, like, how I do hooks... Um, in case anyone following along at home wants to know how I done did do that, um, is I will basically look at the center of where I want the hook to come out of, and I'll go just a little bit left or right of that, um, and then I'll draw. You get that kind of straight line, and then you do you start to do a circle and you stop at a semicircle, and then you just widen that out a little bit and you trace that same circle. And then you reconnect with that straight line back up just to the other side of the side you started on. And there's your hook. Um, I don't know. I've been doing I've been doing kind of like hook shapes. When I when I doodle things, I tend to doodle sharp-ish things. Like fangs, fangs and claws and hooks and things. Because mm -hmm. I think the shape of those really fascinates me. Should we unpack that? I don't think so. It's I, I don't I don't I don't think it's like a, a violent thing, like I think it's just, you know, there's like 
it's kind of cool because it's got like the little point at the end and but it's like round but it's a little pointy too you know it's precious it's the most precious <laughs> book i've ever seen all right. Really hope no one's trying to contact me on my phone right now. Oh God, it was real hard. Mom. Um, all right, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do. So I, I have also pulled up at this point reference images of Animal Crossing characters. Mm-hmm. And I think maybe I went a little too gung ho on uh, the the thickness of these thighs. I mean, if you're if you're trying to copy Animal Crossing, yeah, he, he probably likes cake a little bit more than the standard Animal Crossing person. But maybe you got a chunky boy. Actually, <laughs> but I I do like I do like that little curving you got a little bit. I, I like that a little bit better than your like super curve of your thigh. I do like that you curved in and down. There we go. What should this fourth pirate be wearing? It's sitting on the ground, which looks a little weird until it's wearing clothes, I think. Hmm. Hmm. You do, ha you have covered like all the, the pirate tropes at this point. Cause I was like, yeah. oh yeah, just the striped shirt. No, you got that already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's hard to say. Oh no. If the chat has any suggestions of pirate accessories or clothing or any other good accoutrements, please let me know. Hmm. Hmm. So, Facey, I find that any time I try to do words as part of a drawing, I have to draw the limits of whatever the sign or post or whatever it is is after I draw the words, because otherwise I'm like, oh, I'm not going to be able to fit all of this in the space that I gave myself. And then I start like, do I do I just make the letters smaller? Do I make the letters smaller? Do I try to make the sign bigger? Like, what do I do? I don't know. So I think I think that's super smart. Doing the doing the letters first, then the sign. Yeah. Um. So when I I took like a master class in how to make the letters fit which you think shouldn't be a problem but it is um <laughs> draw your exterior um and then any border that you have straight line hit what the middle is um it, and then maybe even quarters just to break up how much space that you have like if you have seven letters you put the center letter in the center and then go out from the center as opposed oh. to starting and going over. Interesting. Um, like especially in a sign, it looks better if it's sent like sent like you know you're in Microsoft Word and you've centered it as opposed to left aligned or right aligned. Um, and if if you break it up into enough sections, um you can make it like fill the whole space as opposed to, you know, trying to align it and it's looking weird. Fun fact. I it it again is like making the skeleton of your drawing before doing the details. Break it up, know how much space you have, and then put the letters in. Makes sense to me. I love the idea of tiny kittens stacking, tiny sitting kittens stacking cannonballs, like, <laughs> like building blocks. I I am giving this one a cannon right now. It's a very derpy little busted cartoon cannon, but uh, that's, uh, that's what I'm going with this. I love tiny curve. Tiny derpy cat goes burr. <laughs> Boom. I don't think that's cheating for fancy. I think that's a legitimate thing. Here, I got I got text over here. 
Yeah. How did I do that? I don't remember. It says fast travel, but since it's reversed for some reason, because I don't know how the internet works. Um, but yeah, for that, I just marked out how far I wanted to fill up the space um, and then took the angle from the edge of the wing and kind of tried to make my straight lines follow that. Obviously, it's not perfect. But Felix is a beautiful boy and did his best. That is that is the joy of drawing a really cute character, is that if you do something in the art that's kind of kind of goofy, mm -hmm. um, no one's no one's going to judge you for it because it's just part of the cuteness of the character at that point. Yeah. And on that note, I'm not going to give this one real eyes. It's just going to have little happy cat eyes. Because it's got a lot of cannonballs. I mean, that's how I would look if I had a pile of cannonballs with me. What what do pirates who shoot cannons wear? Hmm. At thirty years old, I didn't think someone would be asking you this question. <laughs> what do pirate cats that shoot cannons wear? That makes more sense. Mm -hmm. What what is a what is the person who shoots cannons? A cannoneer? Is that what it is? Uh, yeah, I think it is cannoneer, actually. Okay. I can't tell if Josh is telling the truth or he just rolled high on charisma. No, actually, I think it is cannoneer. Though I can see why you would, you would expect me to have rolled high on charisma on account of how beautiful my face is. Yep. I'm just so distracted by your face and wanting to slap it that I <laughs> am not fully registering what you're saying. <laughs> it makes sense. It checks out. Okay, so I tried to look up what a person who shoots a cannon is, and I'm getting um, man blasted from cannon overshoot safety net. No. How a human cannonball works. Human Cannibal Wikipedia. I don't think I'm using Google right. How to Google. Um, I have an idea. I'm going to try searching Cannoneer. Oh, that's and it, it came up with a lot of uh, like RPG related type art. Um, but seems to be a term. Did you try Cannoneer Pirate? I did not look up a Cannoneer Pirate, no. I'm seeing a lot of fictional characters that like carry cannons and like fire them from their shoulder as if they were rocket launchers, which seems a little crazy to me because I can't imagine how heavy a cannon, much less a loaded cannon would be. And then the force of firing a cannon like you'd have to be built like a boulder. Plus ultra. Uh, absolutely plus ultra. I'm glad that you do know this anime. I know this anime. <laughs> I did have to ask Alex who all the students were, but I'm a great Aizawa. That's, that's totally fair. I feel like also Aizawa doesn't know who all his students are. Probably not. I mean, 
maybe he does. But that's also like kind of his job, right? Is to know who his students are. So it makes sense if he actually does. Yeah. I feel like he would name them like like spiky haired boy, um, icy fire guy, um, turbo legs. And not, you know, their actual names. Spiky spiky anger lad. Blonde boy with anger issues. <laughs> Reddit is letting me know that turnips are hot. The turnips are what? Hot. Oh. In what respect? Like they produce a lot of warmth? Yes, Josh. Okay. Perfect. Should I be trying to fur this cat? I feel like this cat needs some fluff. Yeah, because this cat feels like shapes right now. Yeah. Which is okay, but it is it is hurting a little bit, the aesthetics of this cat being fluff. Okay. I don't feel like it quite needs to be grumpy cat down there, but I feel like it's like a little bit here. Yeah, we'll do a little... Well, yeah. Let's do a little... Oh, you know what? I know what I'll do. I'm going to I'm going to give this cat a beardo. Why did Brandon just put Man Blaster in the chat? I don't know if that's Brandon or if it's Phil. Yes, I believe that is what that's from. It could be Brandon. It's hard to say for absolute certain. I feel that that assumption is accurate. Founded. I feel like this last cat still needs something. Help. Have you given it whiskers? I feel like he would like have the dirt on his face or something. Like a little like hatch hatch marks or Oh, like mud because or... of because of all the soot from the cannon. Also he doesn't know how to bathe himself. He, he ain't right. He's essentially just pig pen as a cat. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Alright, well there he is. He's just sitting. With his little cannon. Your cat has a lot of whiskers. I'm giving him a beard. A bushy pirate beard. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I put the I did put whiskers out kind of on top mm -hmm. of that because I felt like, like those were necessary. Beard situation. All right. Yeah. Oh, did is my phone dying now? Oh no. Probably. I think our phones are telling us. It might be time to wrap up. <laughs> my phone is my phone is apparently currently active, but also at one percent. Uh, so it might it might not be doing the videos so good anymore.
It's not. We can just hear your ears. Yeah, like that's kind of what I was noticing. So I'm going to go ahead and let it close Zoom. Um, I think we're probably pretty close to wrapping up on this particular instance anyway. I've run out of cat space. Yeah, I was about to say, so Josh successfully drew an adorable bewhiskered cat. Um, I got off topic and drew a bunch of random shapes. And then Sharon actually followed the curriculum. Yep. So I think that's the formula for our show. Yeah. No, that makes that makes sense. I mean, we didn't have Brandon here to follow the curriculum just long enough to draw one thing and then start doodling very off the curriculum things immediately yeah, afterwards. There's no wrestler doodling thing. So. <laughs> it wasn't the wrestler cats was not the thing. <laughs> Yeah, missed opportunity, Brandon. Yeah. Um, um, Faux Fancy is asking where to share art. Um, I think I think the Hobbies channel on the Discord would be a great spot for that. Uh, if you're watching the stream right now and you are not already on our Discord, I'm going to go ahead and drop a link to it just as soon as I get to the menu that does that thing. Um. If you share your art in like the next couple of days, um, AKA when I finally finish my cat, we'll <laughs> share you on the Feral Fox page with our band of pirate miscreant cats. How do I share this invite? Oh no. Be sure to let me know what your Instagram handle is. So I tag you, and then you become famous for your cat art. It's very important. I'm just going to do... I'm a very fearsome crew. Cat art. Oh, I'm going to have to... Hold on. Ah! Oh, this is... I can't. <laughs> hold on. Uh... I fixed myself. Um, I realized I wouldn't be able to send the invite link from that profile because that profile is not allowed to send links. I don't know how technology works. Are you how? not allowed to send links on the Twitch stream? Because mm -mm, the, the program is half convinced that you're going to hack source the system and send everybody a terrible, terrible virus or something to that effect. Um, it's in there now. It got so, added. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good. I know this is a fairly basic cat. I can I can send both of my cats, but I feel definitely I feel pretty need good to about also this. see the original pirate cat. The oh. I love both of these. cat as well. I mean, this was clearly I spent a lot of time on the face. Yeah. And not a lot of time anywhere else. Cat bodies are hard. That's kind of why we went with, like, cartoon cats <laughs> as opposed to real cats. Because they just kind of bend and squish and do. Mm -hmm. Josh's sitting cat, I did originally try and draw along with Josh as well. Oh, did you? Could not get over that neck situation, so I gave up. And it's basically <laughs> more of a cat booty. So... Okay. That's still that's still great. And let's be honest. Cat, cat butt. What do we see of cats more than like them facing away from us? We did see a lot of your cat's butt today. This is inspired by my sister's cat, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> this is basically what he looks like at all times. That's amazing. It's true. He got and chunky now, body, tiny brown. tail, tiny <laughs> Oh my god. And his ears are always like very concerned looking. Mm -hmm. He's a good cat. Oh Solid. my word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Making sure Gotham is safe. <laughs> All right. So I think I think that covers it for today. Yep. Um, we're... I hope everyone now knows how to draw a cat because I was very specific in my instructions. Mm -hmm, mm 
Mm-hmm. Please okay. share them in the in the, the link that Josh just shared. We'll put it on the Feral Fox. And yeah. Yeah, okay. on that on that Discord server, there is a channel called Hobbies, uh, where we share a lot of like drawing and art and just general hobby stuff. So that's that's a great spot for dropping these in. Um, if uh, <laughs> I meow know how to draw a cartoon, yeah. <laughs> so good. I hate it. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Fofacy. Thank you for bringing puns into game. Oh, it's so good. Um, so we're going to post. We're going to post our drawings in the hobbies channel, and you all should too, because I'd be excited to see what you all drew. And we're going to do this probably again next month, right? Sweet. Okay, so. Look forward to that. We'll be doing more stuff throughout the week. Um, I know things are a little bit up in the air right now, not least of which because Brandon can't figure out how to get his internet to function like it's supposed to, um, which makes streaming pretty difficult. Um, so I feel like we were solid without him. We really stuck to like what we were doing. We didn't have any side quests. Hmm... Huh? I think I think we had about as many side quests as we back. would have had with Brandon here, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. Um, I still had a ton of fun though, and hopefully everybody else did as well. Um, so stay stay tuned to the Goblins of Growlers announcement channel on the Discord, and potentially to like the Facebook and the Twitter, and we'll see if. Uh, if we actually manage to accomplish anything else this week, or if this is going to be like our our flagship stream of the week, Dungeons and Doodles. <laughs> At the very least, I know that on Saturday, um, Alon and a group of people will be streaming Morkborg here on this very same channel. I believe that stream begins at 3 p.m. So if you like heavy metal and you like post-apocalypse worlds, Kind of Mad Max style, I believe. Um, come out, come on down and check that out. And you can check out some of the other videos that are up on the Growling Goblin Studios Twitch page. I actually managed to get through all those words. I was so expecting myself to trip. So, yeah, words. Um, Great. So thank you all for joining us. Thank you, Liz, for guiding us. Thank you, Sharon, for your beautiful cats. And uh, I will see all of you soon. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.